Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today we're doing another entry in the 2021 planner review. Like I said, I'm doing a small, um, small business or like lesser known uh, planners first to, um, and I mean not first, but like individually to give them like a little bit of a spotlight. And then I will have a big planner side by side live where you can ask me all the questions and we can look at all the ones that I got for the year. So um, this is the uh, 2021 Your Most Magical Year Yet by Tess Whitehurst. Typically I think of Tess Whitehurst in um, conjunction with Llewellyn, which is a massive and at times problematic magical publisher. Um, but this is privately published. Um, so I consider that a small business type thing. Um, the, this was recommended and the reason that I chose it is because it felt very fun and whimsical and I wanted to have like a pre-designed fun whimsical thing that I was going to do. So that's kind of the space that it's filling. It's very cute. Got like a little bottle and it's just like um, this is like a prompt page where it's like 2020 was quite a year and you know it gives you some prompts. Basically I would just write a dumpster fire. Fire. Just toxic feelings. <laughs> At least that's my opinion. Um, so your intentions. So basically we're talking about goal setting. So that's my jam right away. We're getting right into the stuff that I like to do just in different subjects and areas. And that's how I like to set it up. If you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know that I like to do level 10 life at the beginning of every year. So this kind of reminds me of that, but a little bit more fun and a little more space for dreamy um, journaling. And I kind of like that. So... Um, this is just a little tiny primer about uh, the magic of each day, but beautiful little arts, um, moon phases, uh, moon signs. Um, like I would definitely get this for a teenager or a baby witch, or um, you know, make your own decision. But that's what I would I, I would have absolutely adored this as a teen. Uh, days of the week. So January 2021 just like magical energies and it's just really pretty I really like it uh, journaling prompt and you journal all over this you know you got a journaling prompt here you journal all over this this are all the days of the month now this I don't like that much but <laughs> in their defense I am not this is not going to be one of my main planners that I carry around with me everywhere um, this is going to be one that I um, keep here in my little nook where I do all my um, homework and hound dog hollow work and stuff like that so um, even though these are the small short little phrases I think I might just put little prompts like you know prosperity work or something um, to kind of jot me but most of it's the journaling and stuff and uh, you know it has like little coloring pages little things that I might want to uh, consider upcoming February February's prompt February's pages, March, March's prompt, March's pages, um, April, I'm, trying to, I'm really awkward and I'm having a hard time putting my hands in the position they should be, May, I think there's a coloring, uh, that's a pretty coloring page. June. Oh, look at her. Juneteenth. Way to go, girlfriend. Journaling prompt. The days of the month. July. Journaling prompt. Days of the month. I think it follows that formula the whole year. It's like a little, um, Heart at the back, August, Live Juicy, that's cute, just, just fun, right, basically it's like, I think a fun, relaxing, dreamy kind of quality, um, it's not going to be super useful in keeping track of my studies or, um, or like as a book of shadows or anything like that but I think it will be a fun kind of addition and that's why I kind of feel like um, 
as far as a standalone journal, no, I do not think that it works that way. At least not for the demands of my life, but as a fun um, journal for like maybe a newbie or maybe a teen or maybe in the compliment to another um, journal, I think it would be really fun. So check that out. 2021, Your Most Magical Year Yet by Tess Whitehurst. As always, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Have a good day.